Hi kids, welcome to part three. Uh, let's get this going real quick. Uh, this is not done, but you can see it's getting there. Um, I, I got my parts the other day, so I've been working on things. I'll show you what I've got here. Um, I put the new center shaft in so that I could put the new lock in. Here's the key. You know, brand new lock and key. Put that in there and then we just loosen that up. Okay, the whole lock comes out, and then you can take the top off. And then we've got that metal plate. I've got a gasket. It's not exactly the right size, but it's what they had, so I'm going to cut it to fit and, and um, maybe glue it in there with some contact cement, and that's to protect your glass globe because this old glass globe, it's already kind of chipped up around the edge a little bit. And the person that listed it on eBay described them as flea bites. And that's what this gasket is supposed to prevent. So we'll have to make the gasket fit, but that should be no problem. So set that over there. Um, so I have the new center shaft in place. And it's not exactly, it's pretty close to the original, but not exactly. And in fact, the threads, I think, were different on the lock. I sort of had to persuade it, you know. But it's, it's working really well now. Uh, kind of an interesting lock. You don't turn the key or anything. You, you, it has these little tabs on the sides, and when you push the key in, the tabs retract. You pull the key out, and the tabs pop out. And it just keeps you from backing it out of there. Um, the top of this was a little tiny bit bigger than the original. I mean, just a tiny bit. So I kind of had to sand this a little bit to make it fit, and it chipped up the paint a little bit around the top, so I'll have to touch that up at some point. But anyway, we've got our new lock and key. Got our new center shaft. The old one, like I said, I said in, I think it was in part two, I had to take my Dremel tool and get down in there and actually cut it. And then I could get a socket over this nut and get that out of there. It was, it was in there to stay. Uh, and it was, you know, obviously that one was taller. So we had to get rid of it anyway, and it was bent. We talked about that. So the new one's in there. I got that in there. Um, it's it's down in there, nice and tight and snug. It's not going to come out. There's a you know another nut down there holding it nice, nice and tight. So I got that. I've got my new um, threaded shafts that are going to go here and here to hold it together. They're a little bit different. If you look at the originals, the originals were basically, uh, had a screw head on top and they were just threaded at the bottom. This thing is threaded its entire length and has a nut on top. So we'll have to mess around with it a little bit and see if we can't get it to fit. But at least the threads on this one are correct. I don't have to mess with that at all. So they should work fine. So I have those to replace those. I got some new rubber feet for it. You know, I'm going to go on there like that. They thread right in. Those are going to be great. Put it on the counter or a table or somewhere. It won't slide around and get knocked off onto the floor. Um, and then the other thing I got, if we take it, take the coin mechanism out. A chunk up the front. You know, it, it is. It's trying to take my new paint off a little bit. I have to be really careful with that. Uh, if it's been, it's been, the paint's been on there and curing for a, a good three weeks, so, you know, it's surprising me that that's happening, but spray paint isn't what it used to be. I think environmental regulations and things, they've had to water down the formulas quite a bit over the years, and they, spray paint's kind of a disappointment these days. I got a new stop dog and a stop dog spring. Okay, they both go right here. And what that is, is the stop dog, um, unless, if there's not a coin in there, that's what's stopping this from going around and around. You have to put a coin in there and then it kind of pushes that stop dog out of the way slightly and then it allows the mechanism to spin. Um, this one, you can do it without a coin if you, if you get a little rough with it. So I'm trying to prevent that, so I thought, you know, maybe this stop dog's worn out or bent, so I got a new one, and I thought, 
you know, you notice this, this spring has a, uh, a little bit of an angle to it. And the one in here is perfectly flat. So hopefully the new spring will help hold that stop dog in place and prevent this from doing what it's doing now. Okay, so that's gonna be it for this first segment. I just wanted to get this third part going and show you where I'm at. Next, I'm gonna take this apart um, and get these parts installed and get this thing cleaned up and polished up. And then we can put it all together and it'll be done. So this should be, uh, part three will be the final segment here. So, so keep watching. All right, let's see if we can't uh, take this thing apart. Um, the, uh, if you take the spring and stop dog out, if you do that first, Okay, there is the original, which has, it does have a slight angle to it. Sorry, this thing does not autofocus worth a crap. It does have a slight angle to it, but uh, not as much as the new one, not quite, no. So, um, we're going to try that. Stop dog did the, um, it's pretty much an exact replacement, pretty close, not exact, but pretty damn close. Um, so we'll try it. If the new one doesn't work, we'll maybe just go back to the old one. Maybe, maybe all we need is the spring, but this replacement part was less than $2. So anyway, um, the, on the newer machines, I'm told that if you take this out, then it just automatically becomes a free machine. You don't have to put a coin in it, but this one still seems a little reluctant to turn even without it. So, um, I'm just going to go ahead and, um, I'm going to stop and take a couple of still photos on my phone and then we'll uh, tear this apart and I just want to get it cleaned up and, and, and oiled or greased and uh, then like I said we're going to have to polish this up because it's dirty and pitted. I haven't done anything with it yet so keep watching. Okay, real quick here, let's see, I'm just making sure that thing's running. So we'll start taking this thing apart, I'm going to start taking this tab out and it's got a spring underneath it and we'll see, I'm going to be careful with it because I don't know how much tension's on it. I've never done this before. Take that out. Keep that screw over there with it so we keep everything. And I guess we could take this star wheel out or whatever you want to call it, a cog. And I think that'll release that spring. I just have to, I don't know how fun it's going to be trying to get that spring back in there. I'm trying to be careful about this because I don't know how much, you know, it doesn't seem like a lot of tension, but I don't want to take a chance of getting whacked with this thing. Okay, that came off. Hmm, now I think this should pull out. Yeah, okay, that did it. That did it. Pull that out, and it takes, this comes out, and it takes the tension off of that. So all of this, it's pretty greasy, pretty grubby. I want to get it all cleaned up. And um, polished and everything. So I got four more screws here to take out, and then I think we'll be. I'll stop the video and get everything clean. You don't need to watch me clean it. And then we'll use a little grease and or oil and get it put back together once I polish the face of it up. And I'm gonna polish this too. And this is. Um, Pretty basic mechanism. I don't think we're going to have any trouble with it. All right, so that comes off next. And then what you have is you have, um, hmm, there's a couple of stops in there, these brass parts. There's a flat spring holding that one in there. And then you have this wheel. And this is the one cent version. Um, and if, if you, let me get, uh, let me get a photo of that. Um, Anyway, this is the one cent version. If you, you know, they still sell these. You can buy them in, in a two cent version, which has two places to put coins, or a, ten, a five cent, a 10 cent, a 25 cent, you know, or, or the 50 cent version. Um, like I said, we're going to stick with it. You know, obviously, it's penny. We're going to stick with this. Thing's a little bit chewed up, but I think it's fine. We'll get it cleaned up. Anyway, I'm going to get this all cleaned up and um, 
polished up and then we'll put it back together and then we can put the whole thing back together and the video will be done. Stand by. Okay, well, uh, I washed everything and uh, degreased them pretty well and they're, they're in there drying. So what I want to do now, as you can see, I got this cleaned up as best I could, but you can see it's not really very good. It's very pitted and scratched. Um, so I broke the Dremel out again. And we're going to try and shine this sucker up a little bit. Um, it's never going to look great. I know that. It would have to be professionally re-chromed. But um, I'm going to use the good old metal armor polish, which is really good. I've got some Simichrome or whatever you call it. Also, um, we're going to... I, I have my uh, speed control here that I put on the Dremel. I usually turn it down for polishing so that we don't overdo it. Um, oops, this stuff doesn't so get some of this on here. There we go. And believe me, it's gonna make a big splash when I start. Let me get a rag here. Okay, so here we go. Doing that with it. Okay. This stuff smells terrible, and we don't like about it. I mean, terrible. But it works really well, so. Not bad. You know, I can see my face in it now. The other side is still really cloudy and scratchy. I mean, it, the pitting is never going to go away. You know, all I'm trying to do is clean it up as much as, as I can. I'm going to turn the speed up a little bit and um, hit it again and see what happens. But... Uh, we're off to a good start here. So I'm going to work on this for a little bit and I'll show you. You can already see, you know, making some progress there. So uh, I'm going to try to finish this and I'll show you where we get. 